Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours morning prayer for Monday, November 8th. Let's go through the pages. For the breviary, our hymn today is 1112, followed by the first antiphon onwards, Canticle 620. Christian prayer book is hymn 10, 937 onwards for the antiphon, psalms, and reading. 691 for the canticle. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that morning, the sun to rule the day, the moon shines full at his call. Sing the goodness of the Lord that filled the earth with food. He formed the creatures with his word and then pronounced them good. Lord, all thy wonders are displayed wherever turn my eye. If I survey the ground I tread, Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. Lord, you, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. You turn men back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men, to your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday come and gone no more than a watch in the night you sweep man away like a dream like the grass which springs up in the morning in the morning it springs up and flowers by evening it withers and fades so we are destroyed in your anger struck with terror in your fury our guilt lies open before you our secrets in the light of your face all our days pass away in your anger our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years or eighty for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exalt and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Each, Each morning, morning, Lord, Lord you, you fill us, us with, with your, your kindness. From the farthest bounds of earth, may God be praised. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound 
the coastlands and those who dwell in them, let the step and its cities cry out, the villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Sila exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter his praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero. Like a warrior, he stirs up his ardor. He shouts out his battle cry. Against his enemies, he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All the herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey by paths unknown. I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From, From the, the farthest bounds of earth, earth may, may God, God be praised. praised. You who stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stands in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever He wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightnings produce the rain. From His treasuries He sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians He smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders He worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Zion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Basham, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people, their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, and will be forever. Amen. You who stand in this sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. A reading from the book of Judith. We should be grateful to the Lord our God for putting us to the test, as he did our forefathers. Recall how he dealt with Abraham and how he tried Isaac and all that happened to Jacob in Syria and Mesopotamia. While he was tending the flocks of Laban, his mother's brother, not for vengeance did the Lord put them in the crucible to try their hearts nor has he done so with us. It is by way of admonition that he chastises those who are close to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Test. Test pushes us to seek God. When in trials we realize that God is hope, God uses trials to pull us back and keep us on our His path for our lives. Often we only call when we need something, so He gives us a reason to call. There are truth in the lessons we can only learn in the furnace of trouble. Tests scrape away what is not part of God's plan for our lives. People, possessions, Positions, securities, test reminds us that everything the Lord does is good, right, and the best thing that 
could be for us. God wants us, uh, reminds us to that He is faithful when He have try when we have trials in our lives. He wants us to seek Him. He wants us to search Him. He wants us to know Him. One of the greatest blessings in life is to know God. Knowing God means that He also knows us. Sing for joy God's chosen ones. Give Him the praise that is due. Sing for joy God's chosen ones. Give Him the praise that is due. Sing a new song to the Lord. Give, Give him, him the praise that, that is due. due. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sing for, Sing joy, for joy, God's, God's chosen ones. ones. Give, Give him, him the praise, praise that is due. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be the, the Lord, Lord, for He has come, come to His people and set them free. Because Christ hears and saves those who hope in Him, let us pray. We, we praise, praise you, Lord, Lord we, we hope in you. We thank you because you are rich in mercy. For the for abundant, abundant love with which you have loved us. With the Father, you are always at work in the world. Make, Make all things new through the power of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Open our eyes and the eyes of our brothers to see your wonders this day. You call us today to your service. Make, Make us stewards of your many gifts. Let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one, praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each of our prayers as we say, We, we praise, praise you, Lord, we hope in you. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom, and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God our Creator, 
you gave us the earth to cultivate and sun to serve our needs. Help us to spend this day for your glory and our neighbor's good. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May, May the, the Lord, Lord bless us, us protect, protect us from, from all evil, evil, and bring us to everlasting life. life. Amen. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a great, great day. day.